Okay. Hi, I'm Annette Harper, and I'm going to be doing a manual dental. So this is a non-anesthetic dental. So what we did, I just lubed the patient's eyes. I'm going to put the washcloth over just to keep bacteria out of the eye, so if it's flying yeah. from the debris, and also for the light so they don't dry out and cause damage. This is a suction tube that some dentists don't use, um, some uh, clinics don't use, but we, they like to use it at this clinic, which is great. But I'm also going to put like a little gauze back here, right next to the endotracheal tube, just to catch any kind of debris that goes back there. That's just an extra precaution. And before I start, I'm going to do a little spray. I'm just gonna rub it with my hands. It's just, it's just a little Chlorohex for the bacteria. And disinfect it. Now what I'm going to start with is a scaler and this is a sickle scaler so you don't go under the gingival with this this one you just do the basic mm -hmm. calculi and scale like this this dog has a lot of dental calculi I'm gonna hold it like I hold a pencil And you just want to break up all the calculi, tartar. This dog has pretty bad teeth as it is, so. And then after I get the calculi off, what I'm going to do is use the curette scaler where I can actually go up under the gum and this won't hurt under the gum or make it bleed because it's it's rounded um, it's the purple it's the purple handled one the purple oh. handled one let you be able to that purple handle all right mauve it'll oh. go under it'll curve under it's a beaver tail it'll curve underneath so you can go under oh god this one is the cure ends so this one will go right underneath the gingival sulcus. So that's where a lot of the bacteria lies. And after I'm finished doing the curette, manual scaling is a lot more tedious and ultrasonic scaling is much easier. So after the curette, which I got way up underneath the gingival sulcus, I am going to use my probe And I'm gonna look at the pocketing. So you have to, to do four places on one tooth. That's a lot of pocketing for a dog. I would say that would be. Because this has a little nix on it. See this, this one, not all of them do, but yeah. this one has a little measure. Each one is a millimeter. Yeah, that's one, Sorry, two. That yeah, that, place. thank you. Yeah, that's a good three milliliters there. Millimeter. Oh, there we go. So this one, it looks like this tooth is probably going to come out four different places. Okay, so that's a lot of yeah. pocketing. Yeah. You might pack that with, yeah. Yeah. Now we also have the hook, um, which, which we don't need in this situation. So what I'm going to do after this, I'm just going to rinse it again. This tooth doesn't need to be perfect because it's probably going to come out. And that is manual scaling.